Yeah, as always, thanks you guys for being here. Um, excited to get the conference started. It kind of feels like, uh, as we told the team yesterday, it's kind of this, this resurgence, you know, this, this new energy that we get to start this, this next phase of our season with. We, we, we like to talk a lot of phases. And so uh, we, we finished phase one, which is our non-conference segment. And now we're moving into phase two, which is, which is conference. And then we, we want to be playing in phase three, which is postseason play. And uh, it, there's, there's almost this recommitment I asked for the team to make yesterday in training. And it's just this idea that, hey, we're going to come in. We're, we're, we want to be the freshest team. We want to fuel as good as we possibly can heading into that. We had a two-hour session yesterday. Uh, today we're chopping it down even more, and, and we just want to, we want to feel at physically as best as we possibly can heading into conference play. And so uh, Reno, it, yeah, they had a great weekend last weekend, and, and, and they, they lost a close one to Cal, who's playing really hot. So we know that Reno's going to be a good test for us. And Fresno's coming off of, off of a two-and-one th two and weekend. Um, at the Pacific tournament, so we just know what we, what's coming at us, and it's it's just the start of it's just week one, you know, and so we're excited to get get after it and get on the road. There's three in a row, four out of five. How much do you believe in momentum, and how that can carry over into the conference season? Uh, you got to believe in it a little bit, right? You got to believe that hey, there's 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 a vibe, there's a there's there's a feeling in the air, you know, and 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 so you do got to believe in it a little bit, but but you can't rely on it, you know, and it's 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 not a light switch that hey, we're just rolling, so the lights are on, and it's no way, like you know. The reality is, is these teams are good, and they all want to be playing volleyball in November. And so I think that it, my job is, is, is the head coach, is, is the, the CRO, the chief reminding officer. And I'm just reminding us, hey, what are we about? What do we want to be about in training today? What do we have coming at us? And I'm just trying to remind them all the time that, hey, we cannot let our foot off the gas. Coach, you mentioned kind of a recommitment. And you know, going into conference, you do have to kind of retrain your brain, um, especially for any team. It doesn't matter if they're at the bottom or top of the conference. Totally. Anything can happen. What other ways are you really getting your girls in tune just to get ready? For yeah, you know, we meet we meet with them weekly. Uh, we watch a lot of film. Um, we we, uh, we we try to spend time. Hey, what do you guys want to work on? I, I I ask them all the time, whether we win or we lose. And when we head to the locker room, the first conversation I have is, is hey, what 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 do we do well? And then I'm asking, hey, what do we need to do better? And what, what is our main focus heading into next week? And so I think there's a piece of that where, that I really do. I'm not out on the court. Yes, I'm close to the court, but I'm not on the court. And so I, I, I want them to have the empowerment to say, hey, we want to work on this. Or, hey, we're, we're not quite up to, up to par on that. And, and so I think that's one of the ways is, is, is there's, this, there's this shared commitment. And, yes, I'm committed to writing as, as good of a practice plan as I can. But, boy, I come up short a lot. You know, I come up short more, more often than I come up good. And so uh, I'm just trying to, to, to get them to understand, hey, you're a part of this. Right, we're we're not going to be playing volleyball late in November if, if you're not, and so uh, I think we're all on the same page with that. What aspect of the way that you guys play right now do you think translates most to being successful against Mount West opponents? Great question. You know, I, we're we're ranked currently top 30 nationally. Uh, with 350 some odd Division One teams, we're ranked top 30 with our defense, um, with with our with our digs per set. Um, Angela Crosetti's ranked top 38, I believe, uh, in in digs per set nationally as, as our libero. Um, we're, we're, we're I think top 30 in t opponent hitting efficiency, so keeping our opponents under 200. We have a couple matches where they're under under even 100, um, and so I think that alone allows us chances to win sets. And then you, obviously, we got to win sets to win matches. Um, and so I, I would say those two those two big pieces for us is our, our opponent hitting efficiency uh, and our ability to dig balls and, and create long rallies. I, I got to think, hey, that gives us a chance, but it's not enough. You know, we, we've got to come up on the offensive end more often and we've got, and we've got to t tighten up our serving a little bit. Um, but, but I like the way we're playing heading into conference.